Yo, what's up, guys? Wait, am I even... Okay, good. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. Wait, this isn't even here. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on the channel. Um, I have a very itchy nose today, but I recently uploaded on my second channel, as you guys can see, about a week ago, and I'm going to be uploading this week, maybe. Not too sure about that, but um, as you can see, I'm getting back into the habit of I did miss a week, mostly due to me not feeling like uploading because, you know... I can't, I cannot be consistent, you know what I'm saying, I just, I'm a, I'm a human being, you know, like, I just, you know, I just have stuff in my life that I cannot control, and I mean, I'm just a very busy person, hopefully you guys do go on to and understand that, but welcome back to some more Pokemon Fedred, so, I know this one's gonna be very late today, like I said, I'm a busy person, I had basketball from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock today, so that was very interesting, but for today's episode, if you guys are playing along with me, I highly recommend you guys come back to the mansion. Don't go inside the Pokemart, but go or no, don't go inside the Poke Center. Go inside the Pokemart, and you actually, in my opinion, um, want to buy about twenty hyper potions, about twenty revives. If you guys, if you guys can find max revives, keep those. Get about twenty max repels. I know what you're thinking, man. Like, why do you have so many of these full heals? Definitely get a lot of full heals, by the way. I know what you're thinking. Why do you have all of these, you know, repels and all that stuff? It's not that big of a deal, right? Well, what you guys completely forgot is that we're playing the game called Pokemon. So basically, you want to fly about right back to where you were. And after we fight this battle, um, then we're going... Actually, do we already fight? I don't think we fought it. Uh, after we fight this battle, then... um. You know, that's when the real stuff starts happening, especially if you're recording. But just to get the part, get just, I cannot talk. Just to get um, past this part really quickly, because, you know, like I'm saying, uh, I'm currently playing the game on my other, um, my Mother's Day file. And I, I'm in like, I'm almost halfway through Victory Road. I just made it to like outside of the Victory Road cave. Um, there's a lot of caves in this game. But basically, guys, the, one of the big things is when I was playing, I was noticing I was, uh, after battles, leaving the cave, um, going all the way back to, like, flying all the way back to the city just to heal, and then have to walk the whole thing again, and it's very time-consuming. So I highly recommend you just go ahead and buy everything. If you guys notice um, right here, I blew so much money on this game. As you guys can see, I'm resting at $87,000, and I had... Like a million in the bank. I mean, what's eighty thousand dollars gonna do? Buy me what eighty poke eighty eighty pokeballs? Who knows? And I'm talking about regular pokeballs. They probably buy me like three great balls, maybe even one ultra ball. Who knows, man? But uh, yeah, it appears that we actually have eight badges. Never mind, I thought we had ten. <laughs> my mistake. Um, but yeah, we're gonna fight our boy Brandon because Brandon is back. I'm here to fight my brother once again. I'm actually going to text him real quick and tell him I don't know what you're playing. Um, but yeah, of course, you guys, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, smash the like button below, subscribe if you're new, follow me on all social media below, subscribe on Twitter, Discord, and Twitch, second channel, and podcast. And without further ado, let's get on into this. Well, it's, I never... <laughs> what a surprise to see you here. So, you're going to the Pokemon League? <laughs> you collected all the batches, too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you. I never... <laughs> then I'll never whip you as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on. All right, I think he's going to start off with a Pidgeot, um, which is not good because I currently have a Pidgeot, so I'm going to have to switch out, and oh my gosh. Listen, guys, I promise you I did not – I have played this before, but I I don't study this stuff, okay? I've just played this game so many times where it's just kind of muscle memory, and for some reason I thought I had I, – I okay, off screen about – like 10 minutes before I started recording, I just remembered before I went to go eat, I switched Pokemon because I had Bolt out first. Switched Pokemon for whatever reason. Anyways, um, let's use Thunderbolt. And that should wipe him out. Now, these Pokemon are going to be pretty hard to beat because Gary has up to like a level 50, 53, I believe, 52. And some of the trainers we're going to fight are going to be in their 50s, so... I'm not going to train, okay? I, I'm just not a person who trains at all. 
Um, now this part, I'm okay with going back to heal because, like I said, it's a rival battle. We're not that far away from uh, spawn, I guess. Not spawn. Pokemon Center. Sorry, I'm very stupid. Uh, anyways, we're going to use our Squirt Boy. Now, I'm probably not going... Because we're so far in the game, I'm probably not going to be saying, like, oh, this one's really low level. I'm going to use him. I'm going to use whatever works for this next few episodes. But yeah, well, guys, we're going to really close. Um, and because, you know, I was actually thinking, like, maybe only three more episodes and we're done. I don't even think so, because it seems like this is going to be a very long stretch towards the end. Because, um, like I said... We've made it to the top. All we have to do is just take that long stretch. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It just seems... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, yikes, my dude. Um, but yeah, it just... I don't know. It seems like we've made it to where we want to be. But we just have to, you know, do that final stretch. And that's basically what we're going to be doing in these next two videos. And use to grow. Very nice, Medeed. So we're gonna use uh, you sweets. Come on, come. I almost said Gary. Sorry, it is Gary. No, it's not. In the anime, it's Ash and Gary, and those are the rivals because that's uh, Professor Oak's grandson. And yes, technically in the game it is his grandson. His name is Gary, but in the game it's red and blue. He has two grandsons that look alike. Man, what can I say? Anyways, we got flame thrower, my dude. But I'm pretty sure in Pokemon Yellow you play as Ash, because you get a Pikachu, and um, you actually fight Team Rocket, so I've never played that game before. I'm assuming, I'm assuming apparently, I'm assuming that it's a lot like this game, it's just there's little minor details, like instead of fighting the Team Rocket grunts, you just fight Team Rocket, you know, Jesse and James. Who did he say he was sending out? Uh, I'm just going to take a wild guess and say I'm fine. <laughs> So watch, watch it be a water type, man. Gyarados, it was. I'm sorry, I was not paying attention. Alright, my dude. Um, We're probably going to go downtown right now, but I'm just going to use a quick secret power. Hydro pump, yikes, my dude. He's dead. A big yikes. Critical hit. I don't really think you needed a critical hit on that play, but okay. Um, As you guys can see... I'm trying to play smart and not switch every five seconds because now that we're in the big leagues, you know, switching is not really something that you want to do every five seconds. You just kind of want to read, which is apparently very hard for me to do. How is it already seven minutes? Jesus Christ, one battle. All right, well, um, these next few episodes, by the way, guys, are probably going to be pretty long. I'm going to try to make them around like 20 to 30 minutes. Jesus Christ. Okay. This Gyarados is a very strong my dude. Um, that's kind of insane. I probably should have used my level 30 to level him. Actually, he'll get the same amount of XP. It doesn't matter. Um, I actually went... Oh, I forgot to forgot to tell you guys. Um, actually, did I tell you guys in the last episode? I don't know if I did. Um, Growlithe. Alright, I'll switch over. Um, I'll quickly go on my channel real quick and check that out. Um, because if I didn't show you guys, I'll show you that right now what I did. Um, just for a visual. Let me just mute this. Cause I, oh wait, I forgot my volume's already muted. I uh, will use surf here. Yeah, I did show you guys. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I did show you guys what, um, how I did that. Okay, so that's good. Um, so yeah, guys, I did show you how I got that far in the game. So that's very nice. Level 47, a very nice. And I think we beat him. Alakazam, right. I'm <laughs> the big brain. Um, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I learned that flying recently does really well against Psychic. I know Ghost does, um, and obviously Dark, but let's be honest, man. If you actually keep Bite as a move, which I know I probably have on one of my Pokemon, it's not the best thing. And I'm probably going to go down here. No, it's Calm Mind. Never mind. I thought that was an attack. Um, as you noticed, the higher levels that we fight, um, you'll note. Oh, oh, I missed. Let's go. 
Um, you'll notice that they're like the attacks they use raises their speed defense and their speed attack, and sometimes their speed in general. Um, instead of just raising their attack, their defense, or speed, all that basic stuff. Um, as you kind of progress in the game, you learn stuff like that. Um, most Let's Plays, like me, what? I was just careless. You? I never got that much money for winning. I know I could say the next one. That loosened me. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. I never need more practice. But hey, you know what? Or hey, you know that? I'm out of here. Smell ya. I guess I really did loosen you for the Pokemon League. <laughs> you lost, but you know. Your play. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to go heal real quick. And uh, yeah, um, that guy teaches you um, Dream Eater. It's not that important um, in my opinion. I don't really think it does anything. But yeah, if you guys want to learn Dream Eater. But um, like I was saying, most Let's Plays... Um, our let's players, I guess. Um, we don't really tend to get moves that. I mean, there's a few. It, it's a really rare occasion if you find a let's player that will actually, you know, raise their offense and defense and their attacks and their speed and all that stuff. That's usually the people who like um, play like RPGs where they like having a healer and a, and a tank and a defense and all that stuff. Why did that just now... Okay, I don't know why that just now gave me a notification for something I sent in my Discord. Um, by the way, guys, I did update my Discord. It's Halloween updated right now, and I know it is November the 1st. 2nd. November the 2nd. Um, I know. I'm very sorry about that. Um, okay. Upload this. Wing attack. Why say upload this? I meant use... Yeah, we're going to upload a wing attack onto this minky, my guy. There's no point in that, honestly. I just kind of wanted to, um, you know, use something against him. You know, a little extra content. Um, I am actually going to... I don't know why my voice kind of got shaky there. Um, I'm going to quickly do this, and then we're going to go all the way over here. And this here, guys, is the Pokemon League. So let's talk to this guy. Oh, that's the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. You have to have all the badges to regress this far, guys. If you do, listen, guys. I know a lot of you guys who play games like skipping stuff. It, do not skip the gyms and do not skip trainers because, like I said, I'm level forty and I've um actually just skipped a, a few trainers. I completely forgot to go back and fight the trainers in the ocean. They were pretty low leveled though. I don't know how much they helped me. But guys, do not skip trainers, do not skip gems, especially, I mean, if you're overpowered like I have been, I don't see that as much of a problem, but you guys are definitely going to need all of the badges to get far in the game. There's no point in me reading these. It's all the same stuff, you know, I could probably get my bike, speed this up a little bit. And they take five years to send me a message. Okay, there we go. Rainbow badge. I don't know. I guess I'm showing him the rainbow badge or something. This is the surf suit. There um, are level 30 wild Pokemon here. I'm just going to quickly put on a max repel. You tend to not actually need to use a repel in this area, but just in case, you know. You probably only will run into one Pokemon during this area, but. I don't really want to risk it. I tried to get around that part. I did not mean to walk up on land, but I did. Marsh badge, let's go. And this way. This is a huge part where you tend to run into Pokemon right there. Volcano badge, or volcano, however you want to say it. Um, I think you actually get a item right here. Yep, full restore. I need to go back on my uh, other playthrough that I'm doing off screen and get that. You can pass over here if you have the Earth Badge. I got the Earth Badge. Oh, let's go, brother. In. And we're in the cave, brothers. Now, Victory Road. The cave is a very big part because if you mess up once, you're screwed, basically. So I'm just going to quickly. You strength and push this over. I wish that I knew how to speed up um, 
something on this recorder because I would definitely do that, but I don't think that's possible on the recording software I have for this game. Unless I was to upload it and screen record it on my phone and do it that way because it's a lot simpler or I could just download the video on my computer like how I usually do it and do all that stuff. But then, you know, I don't know it, just, it doesn't really seem that interesting to me. Um, this part, I actually do want to go back out of the cave for this part. You can only get one item here. I'm just going to get the rare candy. Sorry, Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is not... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't do as much damage as I think it does. And we're into a Pokemon. I'm going to quickly leave the cave and come back just so I can get the other... Um, the rare candy, I believe. Alright, I accidentally walked into this trainer, so we'll fight her real quick. Um, one reason, guys, why I definitely recommend putting on a repel is because there's a lot of... Um, Pokemon that are wild in the caves that you can't fight and I just ran into one they're about level 46 and they do so much damage to your health and all that stuff and it's like really annoying you know um I'm just gonna quickly use fire blast or not fire blast flamethrower but they do a lot of damage to you and that's one of the reasons why I hate running into wild Pokemon so if you run into a wild Pokemon just try to kill it I guess but don't waste time because you really don't want to use all your hyper potions and all that stuff. And I don't know if I should just run back because it's not that far. Actually, it's pretty far. I don't really want to run back. I am going to... Oh, she withdrew her Pokemon. Nine Tails. She has a lot of Pokemon. Um, I'm just going to quickly skip ahead. By the way, I am playing these um, matches very legitly. I'm not doing anything crazy like you guys might think I am, especially like my brother. He thinks I do that. Um, it's just, look at the time right now on the video. I'm trying to save time, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's just moments like these where, like, you know, I'm in confusion and there's not much stuff I can do. There's really no point in me keeping that in the video. So, gonna skip ahead. And just for the record, I'm not using a save state and. Um, Going back and forth until I, you know, get the move to work. I'm not doing that. I play the game legitly. I'm not a little boy, you know what I'm saying? And I will do that to catch a Pokemon. And that's only because it's in the game. And it's always going to be in the game. And if you judge me, you know you do it too. There's no way that if you don't catch a Mewtwo and you run out of Pokeballs. There's no way you're just going to click the little thing that says run. Or just kill it. And then just never have it on your team. Unless you're a speedrunner, but I digress. Okay, I just learned that this Persian, well, it's no longer alive anymore, but that Persian had Faint Attack. Now, I've never seen Faint Attack used in the anime, so what is a Faint Attack? Do you just kind of, like, faint on them? Do you just go, like, just, like, land on them and do, like, plus 20,000 damage or something? Like, honestly, what the heck does Faint Attack do? Alright, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is I actually left the cave, and that's just to reset the boulders. So I'm going to have to do that little puzzle again. I probably should have remembered that. Um, I am going to actually use a max potion. Uh, actually, I don't really need a max potion. I should a hyper potion. Where are the hyper potions? Did I forget to get the hyper potion? There they are. Okay. Um, I'll quickly heal Squirt Boy. Um, I don't really know how necessary this is, but I'm pretty sure when you get to the end of, like, all this stuff and you get to the Elite Four, I'm pretty sure there's a little healing place, um, that you can use, because I was gonna say, if my Pokemon run out of PP, which is, I don't know what that is, actually, I need to look it up real quick. One second, I'll look that up. Okay, it says... PP is power points, um, or PP for short, are the energy that a Pokemon requires in order to perform, perform a, mu a move. A move. Um, so they just need one, but it says like oh, they have 16 out of 20 left. And by the way, okay, I just ran into a Pokemon. Also, I probably said this in the basics, like in my one of my first videos of Pokemon. But um, I'm pretty sure in the Pokemon playlist, if I haven't added this already... A while ago, I added this thing into um, 
the playlist and it said like so this is basically pokemon and if you haven't seen that video i highly recommend it because it's pretty funny and it actually explains pokemon weirdly enough very well um it's very weird the how they do it um but basically they say like oh you're afraid of the dark punch it because fighting beats um dark and it's like if you want if you want to beat a, I would beat a bird. You just throw a brick at it because somehow, I think, um, yeah, I think no. Um, I think rock is what they meant by that because like brick is basically rock, so like rock beats flying. I don't know, guys. It's very weird. Like if you know you want to beat fighting or anything on the ground, just make a gust of wind and throw it at it. You know. And I forgot that that move does a lot of damage. Okay. You might want to buy, and she's going to use a forest wear. Hyper potion, okay. Yikes. You guys definitely want to buy more than 18, or, I mean, sorry, I had 18. You want to buy more than just 21 hyper potions, you're going to need it, I promise you. Um, whether you guys think that you're, you know, going to be completely fine and be... Whether you guys think you're going to be completely fine and, you know, just, you know do good... Um, that's probably not gonna be the case because you know this game is pretty um, pretty difficult. So I'm just gonna quickly skip ahead real quick, maybe even beat this trainer off screen because one, I'm running out of things to, hit, and two, it's already 21 minutes. So I'm gonna beat this character or person legitly. I don't know why. It's not any of the comments. The comments are like, "Oh, oh, you're not losing. You're doing really well," and that's true. But for some reason, my brother thinks that I'm cheating. So I'm just saying I'm not cheating, okay? I'm not a cheater. All right, guys. I think I'm going to show you guys the very ending of this battle. And I'm probably going to end it for today because, as you guys can see, it's 945. And I do want to get this video up before 10 o'clock, which means it's probably going to come on at exactly 10 o'clock. But uh, that means this video, it, I mean, if you guys are seeing this at 10 o'clock, that means that you guys either saw it on my Instagram, Twitter, or Discord, so thank you so much for that. Um, of course, if you guys are seeing this a day later, that's completely fine, I understand. Either you didn't see it, because it is 10 o'clock, or, you know, all that stuff, but just so you know, I might be uploading at 10 o'clock for the next few days, at least with Pokemon. Um, I'm not too sure about other series, but, I mean, I'll try to get it out at 5, but like I said, you got busy stuff, but... Um, yeah, guys, I think that is going to be the end of the episode. If you guys do go on to enjoy it, smash like button below, subscribe if you're new, follow me on social media, subscribe to Instagram, Twitter, support and Twitch, second channel and podcast. And, um, yeah, I'll see you all, you dudes, in the next video. Peace. Now let me finish this battle to prove to you guys that I beat him. Super effective. I think this is the last Pokemon. I thought this was really weird. Oh, by the way, I've been working on Rocky. He's like a super, you know, super powerful guy now. Okay, so there's a ladder there. We'll go down that ladder in the next episode. Without further ado, see you guys next time. Peace.